Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this uh, video. Uh, session 58, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. So here in the, today's video, I'm trading five lots as usual on the NQ. And of course, if $1,000 a day is not enough for you, uh, either uh, trade for a longer period of time, as you'll see, I'm usually in and out well under an hour, uh, or add to your position increase the number of contracts that you trade as always there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and of course please feel free to pause the recording to read the risk disclaimer traders there's two types of people out there you've got those that have got the growth mindset that is I'm willing to learn I'm open-minded to the possibility now it doesn't mean you don't verify the idea but at least be open-minded what can I learn from this what will I do differently next time unfortunately we now live in a society of most people or I should say a very high percentage are becoming or developing the fixed mindset particularly as we grow older we become more cynical more fixed in our mindset not open to the possibilities traders it's absolutely critical to succeed in our business you be open-minded to the possibility once again it doesn't mean you don't verify the idea but at least be open-minded for an example all have people or traders will sometimes uh, email me and say oh you can't trade that during the New York hours it's too fast yes or you that's it's correct what you've got to do is increase the time frame you're trading once again look for don't don't look for reasons why the setups don't work I think that's what I really want to say look for the reasons why they do work or if they don't suit your time frame all you do is change the time frame increase the time frame but traders be open-minded okay the, the possibilities are basically limitless when it comes to day trading now very quick ad uh, advertisement I should say um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do down below better still uh, make sure you request uh, my ebook or my Excel spreadsheets or something like that because or one of the links down below because I am running or I've recorded a trading webinar where you'll get to see me actually live trade and rather than uh, set up a time it's going to be on demand that is you'll get the link and you'll be able to watch it uh, straight away and in that video I can't remember how many how many trades I'll take whether it be four or six trades but you'll actually see me hit my target fairly quickly and you'll get to see uh, how I execute so make sure you register uh, down below for my ebook and you'll automatically uh, get a link to the video if you haven't requested my ebook please do truth about day trading better still become a member very quick advertisement over in 30 seconds uh, for $197 you get all of my indicators uh, there, are, there are over 38 PowerPoints relax you don't have to go through them all you want to focus on only a couple of my core trades to begin with and I tell you which ones they are but it's this is a ten thousand dollar program traders 197 dollars as well as that i give you uh, access to eight of my live coaching sessions that is i run uh, a live trading room but I also run a live coaching room where two evenings a week 6 p.m to 8 p.m on tuesdays and wednesdays you can join in a two-hour training session on how I day trade we talk about the psychology of trading the setups and much much more so normally that's um, uh, on the website it's 197 a month uh, for members 97 a month but you can get to attend for one month free if you like it after one month you can email me and say hey I'd like to sign up for uh, an extra month or whatever that's included in your 197 let's now move on so in this particular session I executed three trades for three wins in 15 minutes using what I call the scalp and run technique that is scalping now scalping doesn't necessarily have a great reputation that is for a lot of traders will say it's like flushing money down the toilet well it comes back to traders are you trading a time frame that's what I call tradable 
okay that is it's got to really suit the time frame you trade whether it be off a time based chart or a, or a, uh, a Renko or a tick it really doesn't matter as long as it suits your personality and it's what I call tradable that is I want to be able to move my stop loss if I want I want to be able to increase the target should I wish so there are certain things that I wish to be able to do uh, so therefore that's really important now this particular trading session uh, that I had with uh, these three uh, trades was sort of about the limit that is I'm trading a four tick Renko on the NQ now the great thing about the four tick on the NQ or the two tick on the ES and this is on Renko charts or even on the Dow or the Russell or, or gold it's very tradable during the uh, globe session the after hours market yes you don't have the, the incredible volume you've got during the New York hours but you still got good volume after hours okay so um, any quicker than this what I'll do is I'll sit back and just wait because what you'll actually see with the NQ particularly it'll take off like a rocket then it'll probably slow down for a while then take off again but it's usually very very tradable but I love to get the cash register ringing so there it was 1190 in 15 minutes but after commissions only 11 2750 now very quickly if you're not familiar with my videos um, here I'm after three to four trades I've got a, a setup called the 2b but I might take divergence trades as well uh, in today's video I didn't actually take any divergence trades but I recommend you trade with the trend only but here you can see 200 a day on a three and a half thousand dollar account you've got the potential of earning ten thousand a week uh, within 11 weeks now your goal but my by the way it may only be like me it might, might only be five or six thousand dollars a week it might be two thousand dollars a week so it really comes down to what your individual targets are if you're a young gun <laughs> up here you might be after uh, your hundred thousand a week now realistically there once you get above the 10 to 20 contracts you're really looking at trading during the New York hours okay because you, we just don't get the volume uh, there you'll get I mean you can still trade say 50 lots but then you're going to have a lot of slippage or you may not get filled etc now also you just need to check with your broker because once you get above 20 to 50 lots some brokers have restrictions uh, they might require a larger or a higher deposit just in case um, uh, you get caught on the wrong side of the trade so once you're above 20 to 50 contracts you might have to uh, talk to your um, broker now with this also what if you don't have three and a half to four thousand uh, dollars to start with start on the micros and I know I sound like a broken record I talk about this every trading session why because traders have this once again mentality they want to get rich quick traders get rich slowly there's no need to rush the market's going to be here next week next month next year start on the micros which are 10% of the value so there you only need $350 and going for $20 a day once your account is up to 4,000 then you can start trading the big contract it's only going to take you 22 weeks or even if you've got 4 10 50 hundred thousand start on a micro make all the mistakes you're going to make on the micro contract then start trading the big contract but unfortunately so many traders are sold on the basis I can do this now this yes you can it's not rocket science but you need two things both confidence and competence you've got to know what you're doing okay moving on these are the things that we need to be considering in every time we trade and one of the can I say secret weapons okay my two secret weapons as you'll hear me repeat time and time again are generally trading in the direction of the higher time frame that is I've got what we call an anchor chart in fact I have two anchor charts and secondly is understanding and knowing where your pivot levels are where the prior days open high low and close levels are your major EMAs why we bounce off them they act as both price magnets and support resistance levels intraday swings high and lows and the current days 
high and low and round numbers particularly on oil so traders let's get to the charts and just go through a couple of ideas and the setups for you so what I've got here is you'll see in a moment the trades actually took very soon but this is fairly typical on what we're looking for okay so the market is trending up now this is um, a four tick chart what that means traders is that each one of these bricks and that's what Renko means in Japanese is four ticks in size or $20 now you'll hear me talk about steps one step two step three and each one of those steps is worth ten dollars now without going into all the rules of what I trade but that is called a 3b that's a 3b and that's a 2b this is what we call a t10 uh, this one was a t10 so I code my trades just because it go for, particularly for members because we've got probably 15 really core setups but relax you only need to learn two of them to have a fantastic career so obviously here we're in an uptrend now one of the things we do want to look at when we trade as I mentioned earlier is my anchor charts so as I'm trending up just here okay we can see here that on the right there I've got an anchor chart I call that the anchor chart one that lime color like that's the high of the day okay so that's the high of the day now the high of the day will act as a price magnet but also it will give you major support resistance levels as well so as we're trending up we're in a nice uptrend thank you we've got multiple potential trades here but we're about to get when I fired off my first trades now this is 3 30 a.m. Central Standard Time now if I went back uh, really it doesn't matter where I go back look at look at the trends that we get in this market okay it really um, uh, doesn't matter what time you're trading let me just try to catch up where we were just then and I think that was it just back there was it not I think that was it yes three out of three sorry everyone I got a bit excited there and jumped too far ahead so I'll explain the trades that I've taken here so I logged in and this was actually uh, just before my live trading room so I've got a room I launched at uh, 4 a.m. which is 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so this is a few minutes uh, 45 minutes before I'm due to start so first of all this is off the high of day and it's also called a pivot bounce now pivots act as both um, uh, price magnets but then as resistance points for an example what was once resistance will quite often become support etc here in this case we rallied up at a little double top there the high of day and down we come now I had then uh, my super scalper plotted there was no trade because I didn't have the uh, next stands for no anchor chart one candle which means if I have a reversal okay it comes down here and I, I then have a reversal candle I want to see on my anchor chart the candle closed back down in the direction of where I potentially will take a trade okay that didn't happen but over here I had both what we call a pivot bounce and a t10 on the anchor chart one so I know a lot of members will be watching uh, this so that was our classic t10 on the anchor chart one and thank you very much picked up my seven steps thank you down here this is where then I had a 2b on the anchor charts and it's as good as a 3b and I want to show potential members um, and traders what this really means just there remember on that slide I showed you you always want to know where you're and you see you'll see that slide in every one of my session videos and as I'll state you always want to know where your 89 EMA is and where your 200 EMAs are especially on your anchor chart so this is trade two we came back slight this is called a 200 EMA overshoot okay we've shot past but look over here on the anchor chart one what have I got there a classic EMA bounce in fact what's the direction traders of the trend we can quite clearly see that on the anchor chart I'm in a very definite uptrend thank you very much and you can see there we had an 89b almost you had 34s 
on the way up so going back to uh, this time frame then this was a very very easy trade to take now uh, for members watching this remember that if you get a close above the 200 uh, when you're entering a tra trade on your entry chart it then becomes a 3b so there I've got a 2b on the anchor charts but then as good as a 3b I might have got in a couple of ticks earlier perhaps which then might have put me under the 200 but anyway long story long story short we've hit our target now this is an interesting one because look over on your anchor chart just here okay so you can see we've come down and it's basically an ABC type formation now now this trade here and this one here are, are a very very simple straightforward trades where I'll look at this one here and the ABC type look what I will do traders I'll then go and apply a little tool I've got here and you can see there that actually plots it perfectly there that retracement is a 61.8 percent retracement now you can also use your standard uh, Fibonacci retracement tool there as well and a Fibonacci extension because what this will do is give me then potential targets okay so this will give me potential targets so the reason I entered this trade was it was as good as a an ABC um, much more obvious on a higher time frame because the higher time frame will remove a lot of noise from the market okay and let me just now remove that whoops click the wrong one sorry traders let me just take one moment here so it's, it's thinking so it will pop up in a moment so I took that uh, as, a, as a combination really of an ABC 61.8 percent uh, uh, retracement and let me now try that again remove that there we go and down we go now it actually got a little bit hairy there because we bounced around sorry just coughing then we bounced around I then got filled thank you very much and I was out of the trade sorry about that I uh, was out of a trade just here um, up the net eleven hundred and twenty seven dollars um, uh, after commissions now there was a beautiful run of four or five fantastic trades should I have logged in earlier and then we hit a challenging zone now traders when we see that we've got our 89 EMA and our 200 basically horizontal this is where um, we are entering the uh, the danger zone we've got to be so cautious when we're in these sideways markets and this is where it's it's really sit on hands time okay so when we get these sorts of areas this is where then I'm looking for then a new breakout now if we then look what happened here we were chopping around for ages now finally we now form a new lower low a new lower high and away we went so remember traders the key thing we're trading is do I have a series of higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs so traders this is not rocket science what it really is is about learning how to trade by mastering the patterns virtually every setup that I trade is pattern based and what that means is there are rules attached to those patterns so uh, it's just a matter of getting the screen time I can give you the world's best setups I've been day trading now for 28 years but what I can't apply or give you really I can give you a massive shortcut but you've got to put the time in front of the screen and that is where by attending my live coaching sessions I teach you from the right hand side exactly what we're looking for and of course you can join the live trading room where then I'm teaching you live as I execute trades and explain trades in real time so $197 uh, even if you're not a member come along and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also then you'll be able to get my uh, live trading webinar on demand Thank you, traders. See you in what will it be? Session 59. Thanks, traders.